Today I did my beachy wavy curls, whatever you see is going on in my head. Um, this is what I do on my hair and my client's hair. So a lot of people ask me to do this video, so here it is. Um, the only thing you're going to need for this video, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not, I promise. Um, you're either going to need a curling iron or a wand. I chose to use a wand, it's easier on myself. Um, it's this brand right here. I know you've seen it all over Instagram and Facebook. It's a really bomb one. I really love it. I really recommend it. Um, we're going to use a straightener. You will see why. Um, brush, clips, brush, clips, um, and any kind of texture spray that you can find. So, if you want to see how I get my curls, then just keep watching. The only thing that I have in my hair is the Kenra blow dry spray and the KMS moist repair. I hate the word. I hate that word. I'm not going to say it again. Anyways, this is it. These are the two that I just used right before blow dry. That's it. I really just let it air dry and then I'll go over with my blow dryer and a round brush once it's about 80% or all the way dry the next morning either way and just round brush it out so it's not so frizzy. That's the only thing I do. Of course on clients I'm going to use that and then I'm going to go in and round brush so it's going to look smooth anyways but this is so if you're at home and you're you're not gonna do that on yourself. You might but I'm a hairdresser. I've been a hairdresser for seven years and I don't blow dry, like I don't round brush my hair every day. No, I don't even wash my hair every day. So the perfect situation would be for the hairdresser to have hair clips, right? Well, whatever, I don't. So this is how I part my hair. I'm gonna take, I only have a hair band so I'm not gonna part it this way. But if you're gonna do it with clips, this is how you're gonna part it. So first we're gonna go off right here. That's one section, okay? Then the next section we're gonna go off is right here. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror and in here to make sure I'm doing everything right. So right here, we're gonna section off again right above the ears. So that's gonna be another section. And since I only have one hair tie, that's going to be my first section. So I'm just going to tie it up. Doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm going to pull everything forward, okay? I'm going to take, you can take a comb, a brush, whatever you want. I'm going to take this wet brush. It's actually, you can use it for heat too. And it's really flexible so your hair doesn't pull with it. I really love this. So we're just going to brush everything out. So you can either take a wand or you can take a curling iron, it doesn't matter. My favorite size for, I'd say shoulder length and longer is a one and one fourth inch. But if your hair is any shorter, like you wanna do a bob or anything, I think a one inch would do really good. This is just my favorite because I don't want perfect curls. I just want kind of some waves, loose waves. So this is what I'm going to do. Bring everything to the front. If you don't get every single section, if you don't get every single piece, if every single piece isn't the same size, it doesn't matter. Throw that out. This is not perfect hair tutorial. This is messy. This is how I like to do it. And take the wand. You should be wearing your glove, but I'm not. So I'm gonna take it and wrap it backwards. And all that hair, I'm gonna leave it out. And just let it sit for however long, not too long. That's it, throw it back. Like all these curls that they take down and they hold it. I don't do that. I'm going to take this back. Da -da. 
like every third curl I usually like to go forward just so it gives you a little bit more of something I don't know it's just what I do so this one is forward but never go forward right at your face just never do that take this curl And do the same. I don't know if you can see my comforter or not. If you can see white hair all over it, then sorry, but my husky just jumped off of it. We're gonna do some texture spray. My favorite is the Kenra um, dry texture spray, or my second favorite is the IGK dirty spray, down and out dirty spray. So either one of these, I'm just going to spray back. Again, take whatever you have, brush it out. This is pretty much just repetitive, but that's how I get my curls. So like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect sizes, but I wouldn't take any more than that just because you can't really get it around the wand so well. Um, you know, the more you put on, the longer it's going to take to heat up the curl. So. I know that looks like a lot of hair to leave out, but just trust me. Curling your hair like this should really take you no more than 20 minutes. If it takes you more than that, then I think you're overthinking it, thinking it needs to be perfect, and it doesn't. You can count if you want. Um, I usually count to like 8 or 10, depending. Section is done, so I'm just going to take more texture spray. Then I'm going to take this last section. This is where I usually part. I think curling your hair should be considered arm day, honestly. forward Arms are friggin' tired. I think it's funny that I can do balayage all day long, blow dry, curl, whatever, then I do my hair and I'm tired in a few minutes.
So I know I said I throw a couple forward to give it a little bit more volume, but just always in the front, make sure you curl backwards. It's just more flattering on your face. done go back with texture spray I'm gonna go in and see if there's any curls you want to touch up in my case I never care so I'm gonna take the ends of my hair and I'm actually gonna take a flat iron and just run over them I know it sounds dumb but just do it just on the ends just on that little bit like maybe that much that we left out that's it good enough I got this sample of bumble and bumble dry spun texture spray I'm just gonna throw it in I have the finest hair and I just washed my hair yesterday so my curls aren't really gonna stay as well as I would like them to like if it was second third fourth day curls so I'm just gonna spray this in because I need all the help that I can get just to give me I don't do this on everybody because everybody doesn't need it but on myself I need it so I'm gonna take this IGK 3000 feet it is a powder texturizer I'm just gonna lift my hair up and spray some in there just to give me something. It just gives your hair a little bit of that, like more of the grit. So I put it in the ends too. Now, how I end the curls, like how I bring up the curls, is I take this Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss. This one. I don't know if it's going to show up because the ring light. It smells amazing. I'm going to take like one or two pumps of that. I always rub it in my hands, even on the back side of it, like lotion. And then just... Just because you put all that texture spray, or at least I put all the texture spray and powder in there, it tends to make it a little bit more matte. So this gives you a little bit more shine back in your hair. So that's pretty much it for my curls. I don't know what else to say. That's what I do um, to my hair. I don't like it perfect and in place so it just gives me something so my hair doesn't look so flat when it's straight but I got a lot of people asking me how to do this so I hope this helps. If you like it make sure you like the video and subscribe because it is free. Totally free. Bye.